Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and, uh, time to get serious. Tutorial done. Real game starting. So, level six. This is what happened last time. Very cool. I have recruited a her. But I believe I already read through that last time, so... Let's just start this. We've unlocked research, so now I can actually upgrade my guns and not just have my low-level crappy guns. Unfortunately, they've kind of upgraded themselves, too. They have armor. Only certain guns will be able to pierce the armor. Ah, you found it. You can spend stars to unlock new technology here. You can then click on your defenses and apply the upgrades. Don't worry if you mess up. You can always reset all of the upgrades. Be warned, though, that this will restart the current level. After you purchase upgrades, click on your defenses to apply them. So here we go. I can only get one upgrade, because it's three stars per upgrade. I have five right now. Now, what would be the best one? The best one is definitely, um, Hulk drones. But instead, I think I'm just going to get blaster turrets. Just for now. That should do me. So, blaster turrets. Well, first of all, let me, um, do I want a charger? I don't know. I think instead... Let's put a gas trap here. Normal turret here. And another normal turret here. And a blaster turret here. Now the blaster turrets shoot all around in the circle right here. So it's actually better to put them on corners, whereas, you know, these ones need to go on straightaways. And always have a drone. At least one. That'll start me off just fine. Go! Now, the blaster turrets can actually pierce through armor, if I remember correctly. The regular turrets, not so much. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he's armored. He's only taking one damage per hit, and sometimes zero damage, apparently. And the gas should group them together. It's always good when they're grouped together, I'd say. But the blaster turret... Let's see if I can see how much damage that's doing to him. No, nah, I didn't say. I didn't say it. Things are pretty small on my screen, actually. Hmm. What do I want next? What about a boomy boom? It goes boom. Boom! Boom! See that? He went all boom. Dodge. And it would be pretty good to have another drone, I think. How's he doing? He's almost at full health, but at least she's getting torn up. And she's behind him now, which is actually good, because... She's gonna get hit by that torrent instead of before, where he was absorbing all the shots for her. But that's certainly preferable, at least in that situation. This is my longest straightaway, so... Hmm. Now, do I really want another drone? I probably want another turret instead. A blaster turret, mayhaps, right here. Or right here, next to the gas, that's even better. That's even more diabolical! <laughs> blaster turret by gas! tearing into you now. Well, we're tearing into her at least, but once we kill her, it'll be much easier to kill Armor Boy there. Mr. Iron Man. Also, I get three stars for these stages now. Um, stars are also kind of like lives, but you also want to get as many stars as possible so you can upgrade as much as possible. And later on, you're going to want a lot of stars to upgrade yourself, because there are also uber upgrades, and you need a lot of stuff for them. Right, so she's dead. That is preferable. <laughs> So even though he's absorbing a lot of hits, I should be damaging him more than, um, more than he's healing. Now, let's see here. One, one, one. I should be able to see how much more he's taking from those turrets. Let's see. Yeah, he's taking, like, four to three damage from the blaster turrets, where he's taking, like, zero to one damage from the regular one. So those are good. And they also have an armor rating. He only has an armor rating of one, but it can go higher, and then they're, like, really freaking armored. Oh, and I have enough for more fun. Now if I lose all of my shields, I lose a star. And he'll need to use up a star, and then I'll get full shield again. But then I'll get less stuff to upgrade things. All heroes have been destroyed. The way it should be. Awesome! Let's go on to stage 7, shall we? I really hope you're getting the hang of the upgrade system, boss. Because the heroes just got their hands on some new hardware. Uh, let me guess, something more annoying than damage-reducing armor? 
Amazing guess! And yes, one of the heroes has a kinetic booster, which is sort of like a jetpack. A jetpack? Yes, boss. They're totally immune to gas traps and all of its variations. Also, they get a speed boost from health stations. Can these things get any worse? Probably not until the next level. Yeah, the jetpacks are pretty annoying. And also why gas actually isn't all that useful. Because if it's not going to work on everyone to group them together, who cares? And you have to be careful what you spend the upgrades on, because every single subsequent weapon becomes more expensive each time you buy something. Let's put turrets there. This will double enforce this health station here and shoot down whenever they go here. It may also be good to have turrets here, because that would, uh, at least one turret. And blaster for the armor. And we want this. This might... Yeah, that did me right there. Um, later on, I'm going to be using the chargers again, but for right now, I don't really care. And we're going to want the Hulk drones. Because Hulk drones are amazing. Drones in general are amazing. Because they really help you stay alive. They're also in a very unfortunate position where they're spread out, so I can't teleport away from all of them. But for now, start it. Alright, only facing one here. It would be decent to have, like, gas or a bomb, just so that I can uh, try to group them together a bit better, because when they're all spread out like this, it really is bad. Yeah, yeah I'm already taking significant shield damage. Where can I go? Go here. I only have to face him. Yeah, and he sped right past me, so it's okay. Maybe I should have a charger, just because... And dodge. Actually, they're already grouped together in a uh, more preferable formation now. Yeah, the Hulk drones do more damage, but more importantly, they take more damage, so they last longer, and that's really what you want them to do. You want them to last as long as possible. Let's put a bomb here. Hopefully, to, I, if I could at least group together these two a little bit closer, that would be better. Plus, the bombs do work on the jetpack guy, so if you're trying to group people together, bombs are better than gas. At least if there's a jetpack guy. And there will, there like, uh, will always be at least one jetpack guy from now on, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, God. Oh, I should have just bit the bullet and gone up there. Uh, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be okay? If I take any more damage, I'm going to lose a star. But I might just end up losing a star. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know quite what I can do about that at this point. Because that's teleporting all the hell over the place. Is anyone close to death? Uh-oh. One more hit and I'm done for. Well, my star is done for anyway. Ah, drone. Not nah, lost the star. That's pretty bad to lose a star this early, but... I didn't really practice this more than once. I guess it was about to happen. There's a chance I'll be going back to previous stages off-screen to get more stars. And... You can actually wait quite a while to... Oh, wow, they all died at the same time. Man, if I just held out a little bit longer, I would have been fine. But at least that's enough to get one more upgrade. Alright, level 8. You know what? I'm really glad that I have this shield generator. The one that blocks shots and keeps you alive despite the attempts of the well-armed heroes? I was just about to tell you that the heroes now have shields too. Health stations recharge their shields, but not their HP, so it'll be easy to take them out once their shields are down. Not to worry. If you have enough stars left, just research the EMP variant of the shield charger. The EMP device very quickly reduces the shields of nearby heroes, and converts some of those shields for you. Yeah, very important at this part of the game. Um, so I definitely, that's what my upgrade's gonna be. Hands down. So, first I'm gonna put my shield charger here, next to the station where they charge their shields. Now, the regular one I don't think gives you shields. You need the upgraded one, but I would need yet another upgrade point to upgrade to the upgraded one. But once I can do that, I will always do that. And we'll put a nice blaster turret here. You know what? I wish I could cancel that. And I can in a way, can't I? There's a way to reset, isn't there? Wait, if I sell this, will I get all of my money back? I can't. Let's test this. No, I've lost $50. <laughs> Alright, well... Oh, because I didn't get it from the upgrade, I was like... Well, I can deal with $50. Oh. Restart. Okay. Um... So that's good to know. You only get the base back from the upgrades. But I want to put it here, 
it actually um, it makes more sense here. You can probably see why like some of it was wasted here and it goes up farther. So that's better. And we want Hulk drones. How about two Hulk drones? Yeah. Uh, that'll do for right now. And how about I... Hmm. Nah, let's just start there. Go! Destroy them. Yep, note I'm not being shot. My Hulk drone is protecting me. And he's getting his uh, shield zapped away. So the blue number on top is the shield. And typically the guys with shields actually have pretty low overall health. Let's slow them down right here. Probably should have put a bomb there instead. No. Aha! Yeah, he got slowed down. Gotta be careful here. There's a. <laughs> they stay in the range of the hero for a long time when they're over here. Yes, protect me, Hulk's grown. Uh, he got blown up. Uh, where do I go? I'll go here because there's a Hulk drone. And. Boomy Town. Ha! <laughs> so his shield. He's almost dead. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna stay here and hopefully I can shoot him. Shoot hit, Good, got him. And I got a shield bonus because I killed the hero. And I desperately needed it. Ha! <laughs> Warped. His shield's almost down. Generated and taken away. You are dead. You, sir, are dead. You've been killed! I'm just gonna stay here and shoot you. I can outshield you. That is for show. I don't think he even has armor on. Yeah, he's taking like normal turret damage. Wham! It would be really cheap if he had extreme mobility and armor, wouldn't it? Three stars! Man, I was so close to getting three stars before. And my speakers have fallen. Arrgh, your... Ooh, classy operation I got here. Alright, level nine. Huh. Why is there a countdown timer on the lower left of my screen? That's just the reinforcement countdown, boss. When the clock reaches zero, the next wave arrives. The next wave also arrives if you manage to wipe out all of the heroes in the previous wave. So, in true tower defense fashion, I now have waves. I don't just need to take out, like, three heroes. I'm going to need to take out waves of heroes. And I got three stars, so that guarantees that I'll be able to upgrade something else. Now, what do I want? Also, if you get all of the upgrades in one class, then you receive a mega upgrade. And some of them are very useful, particularly this one. That one's amazing. But you're going to need a lot of upgrades to get even one of them, and I've never gotten enough stars to get even two of them. And I think you only get enough upgrade points to get two of them, and that's if you get, like, all of them. But let's see here. Um, you know, very soon, and I'm jumping ahead of myself, but gas and mines are going to be practically useless as far as I'm concerned. So maybe I should experiment with them, because I never experimented with them before. Like, what if I... Let's see, flame traps do more damage. Ice traps slow people down more. And... This is mustard gas, which deals damage. Let's try the ice gas, because I've never tried it before. I've never even seen it. And if I don't like it, I can always get rid of it. So. Turret shooting down here would be good. A... Charger. EMP charger. By the two shield upgrade things. A... How about ice? No, that's right by a teleporter, though. I don't. You generally don't want to slow them down when they're next to a teleporter. You want them to move the hell on when they're next to a teleporter. So, let's put an ice thingy right here. Oh, and drones, for God's sakes. Hulk drone. And yet another... I think it's, a, you know, two, two Hulk drones. Good number. I'm going to need to wait a little bit to upgrade it to Hulk, but... All right. Cool. Upgrade. There we are. Ice trap. Wow, that really slows them down. That's pretty cool. It's not going to slow down uh, Mr. Rocket Pack, but that's okay. Maybe I've been underestimating the gas. I've never tried it. 
Although really, since it makes everything much more expensive, you probably just want another turret there. Also, you definitely want something damaging him here, because there's no there's no reason to slow them down if they're um, just going to move on like that. Or if they're not being damaged, rather. So I'll put a turret right here. Or a blaster turret right there, that makes more sense, because then someone's probably armored and I'm not paying attention. Come on. Come on. Dodge. Blaster. Not oh, right. No, right here. Blaster. Now we'll be able to pile on the damage. Of course, we're just damaging his shield. That's right, you move on fast. You are useless. Yeah. I see you again. Shoot, 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 shoot. The music in this game is great, too. There's only, like, two tracks, but they're good tracks. <laughs> Shoot them. He is armored. He's, like, taking no damage. Excellent. One hero down. Of course, I have to remember that I need to fight another wave after this, so... Can't get too khaki. I upgraded you, right? Yes. Two Hulk drones. Slowed it down. Majorly. Yeah, he just got, like, damaged a whole bunch because he couldn't move. Well, even now that I've tried the Ice Trap and it's actually really cool, later on it's still going to be useless, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Once they add one of the upgrades... But what I love about this game is they just keep on making it fresh. Like, each time you develop a playstyle and you're like, this is the best thing, they do something to totally change up everything. And then you kind of have to change your playstyle a bit or not be as effective. They force you to... They, they force you out of ruts, basically. Let me think. Okay, protected by Hulk drone. Probably just want another blaster drone here. Or blaster turret here. Because that armor guy is not dying. And the next wave is going to come before I can kill them, I think. Probably not going to get three stars here. Yeah, that's what, that's what it's looking like. Oh, he's got an armor rating of two. No wonder. His armor is crazy. Hulk drones also, I think, pierce through armor. But the drones in general don't do a lot of damage. It's just they, they're there to distract people, essentially. They're not really there to kill people. That's right, I'm staying there to shoot you, because you're almost dead. All right, reinforcements have arrived. This is not good. There's just too many of them right now. But if I can just kill those weak ones, everything will be fine. I should put a bomb on here. Because there's so many, if they're grouped together, I might might be able to do multi-damage. Or I could put another turret, which is probably better. Or even another drone. I'm actually doing a decent job of staying alive. Who's the guy that's about to die? You. Stay. I'm going to have my my villain stay there and try to shoot him a bit myself. Good. Killed one. Um, let's put another turret here so that we can take more advantage of the ice trap. Huh. And there was only one other wave, so I, I might be okay. Maybe. Maybe. Dodge. Yes, kill that shield jerk. Freeze! Good, they're being clumped together. That's a good sign. Much easier to teleport away from them when they're clumped together. Bomb. 60 shields. Dodge. How are you... Like you're regenerating health or something. You die. I don't care about being around for this guy. Alright, good. He's <laughs> all of the drones were going after him. Shield guy is almost toast. Shield guy is dead. I'm selling this. No one has shields anymore. I don't need that. Let's put uh, a bomb here. Bomb. Bomb. <laughs> And then how about a bomb? Excellent. This is the corridor of death right now. Bomb, explode, turret, turret, turret. Let's see if he makes it past here. He is armored. He is, like, heavily super armored, though. That's the only reason he's lasted this long. All right, corridor of death, go. Bomb. Ice. While getting shot. With turrets. Bomb. Bomb. Yeah, that took away, like, a hundred of his health. Let's speed this up, shall we? Woo! 
Uh, death, 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 corridor of death, death, death. I'm gonna stay here to shoot you myself. Ha <laughs> ha! I think my personal gun is actually pretty powerful, too. It might cut through armor as well. Alright, number ten. Okay, final stage of this episode. Let's see what they got for me this time. The heroes are getting weapon upgrades, boss. Now they have sniper rifles. Let me guess. They can shoot me from anywhere? Close, but not quite. Heroes with sniper rivers have unlimited range, but like all other heroes, they target drones first, so you can use drones to absorb sniper shots. As if drones weren't already useful enough, because they attacked people everywhere, they now are pretty much necessary. You almost always want a drone on the field, if possible, because uh, snipers actually like pretty much stop attacking when they're on the field. So, I can upgrade one more thingy thing. Um, I believe I'm gonna go with the upgraded EMP. Why? Well, because the upgraded EMP actually gives me shields and depletes their shields faster. And them giving me shields? Very good thing. So where shall I put it? Let's see. I think I'm gonna put it here? What are they? I think they go around in a... I'm not exactly sure what pattern they're gonna use here, but I'm putting it here. And it's an extra 200 for the full upgrade, but I'd say it's worth it. Blaster rifle here. Definitely drones. Actually, probably just gonna have two more drones. That'll start me off. Hulk. Hulk. I don't know why I put them there, but I did. So, Unverd! Teleport. Now the sniper guys, if they're right next, like it doesn't actually matter where they are on the map at all, except for purpose of of them being damaged. They will shoot you from anywhere. You see, just shot me. Look, I'm right next to them. They're not going to shoot me more. So whereas most uh, heroes you want to teleport away from, the sniper guys you actually want to teleport to because you can hit them for free essentially if there's a drone on the field, or even if not, they're not going to hit you more if they're next to you. And where am I going to set up like a kill zone type situation? Well, let's put a blaster here. This will this will actually hit a lot of the map. And there will always be at least one more wave coming, so... There, I just got some shields from him, so that's cool. Kill you! Kill you, sniper. Kill you personally. <laughs> Get him. Next. What else? What other dastardly traps do I want to set up for these jerks? Well, probably... This place is, like, set up perfectly for blasters. Look at this. This covers all of this right here. And if that's the case, I might as well set some gas up on a place where they can just get hurt even more. Here's good. Freeze. And teleport away. Yeah, I'm gonna tear these guys up. These bla... Like, this, this place is set up so perfectly for blasters, I'm just gonna destroy everything. Destroy everything. And notice I have more shields now than I did when I started because of the uh, EMB thing. Absorbed them. And... Bomb for no reason. I'm not even dodging you guys. I'm not concerned. I have too many shields. Give me more shields. Watch my shields. <laughs> None for you, sir. All the shields are mine. Just shooting the drone like a useless guy. I'm shooting him like an awesome villain. Assuming I am a villain. Based on the backstory, it's possible I wasn't even a villain. It's possible I was just some rich guy that like lost his memory and was like, I must be a villain. And then he was like, oh, I'm not a villain. I should be a villain. I'm not sure. They never really go into it. But considering he's like this creepy weird robot with like a brain case, he's probably evil. Generally people with that physical description are not good people. Sorry to be judgmental of people with wearing cases, but I gotta call him like I say him. Shoot, 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 shoot. You're dead, and you're soon to be dead. It's not a prediction, it's a promise. Well, he has an armor rating of three, good god. Now, the upgraded version of the blasters actually do more damage to people who have high armor than they do to people with low armor. 
So that'll probably be a good upgrade to get next. His armor blows. Unless it's my armor. My shield is my armor. Eight, what? Three dead. All heroes are destroyed. Maximum victory. Wow, that was really just a faux pas right there back in level 7. Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll take on the third tier of missions. And we might meet a new adversary. Let me just tease that. I am Cross Knight, and I will kill all heroes! See you then.